Hi everyone, TJ McKay here. I'm sitting with newly minted New York Times bestselling author of Wife by Wednesday, which has sold over, well over, a quarter, a quarter of a million. million copies so far to date as we sit here and still rising as we speak. The author, Catherine Bybee. Catherine, I'm so excited for you. Ugh. First of all, everybody I'm sure that is, that is watching wants to, how did you do it? I, I know that's a hard question to answer, but that, how do you do that? Selling self-published works. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. And I think that the most important thing that people really need to understand is this is not my first book. This is not a first Catherine mm -hmm. Bybee title. This mm -hmm. is my 10th title out. It is my first contemporary. And the, and the thing mm -hmm. is, is that, it, you know, when it was rejected, um, I made the decision to self-publish. Mm -hmm. I did my homework. I, you know, a title, uh, the title, I, I, I vacillated the title for a very, it was actually not Wife by Wednesday mm -hmm. originally. It wasn't mm -hmm. anywhere near Wife by Wednesday when I originally started it. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I got the cover. The cover is a brilliant cover from a mm -hmm. brand new um, person doing covers. She's which, done that. Which is a very important part of believe it or not, the story, because Books. nobody looks at it without a big cover. It's, the cover doesn't catch you, That's it true. ain't gonna happen. So there's mm -hmm. that, the cover, the cost, and, and the catch. Those are the three C's I think mm -hmm. of publishing. The catch would be the blurb. Does, does, does it, is it, you know, the title mm -hmm. is also that, that catchy, did it hook you before you even open the first page? Mm -hmm. um, great stuff. And, and basically, as far as romance goes, you broke the ceiling as far as you can do this as a self-published author. You, you can, can write really good, romance, self-publish it, and be very successful, yeah. which has not happened a lot in the... No, and nobody was more surprised than I when I made mm -hmm. the USA Today bestseller list in, in December, and then nearly a month and a half later, I made the New York Times list. If you got there on your own merits, you get up there and you stay up there and you get this momentum that that's, goes. That's and the work that you talk about that's as far the work. as being online, I'm online talking I'm to people. I'm on Facebook and uh -huh. I'm Twitter and, I, and I'm, I am Chatty Kathy. That's mm -hmm. always Chatty. I'm, she is. I'm it's good though. It's very good. I get in trouble for it when I was a kid. Now I make money. It's okay. Um, but that's it, and it's genuine. It's not like I'm sitting here telling you to to buy my book. Buy my book. Buy mm -hmm. my book. Mm -hmm. okay. She's also snarky and funny, which makes it fun to talk to her online. Really? <laughs> but you know what? She's just herself. And just it's just herself, and I, that's really nice. It, so, so tell me really quick the the best part of self publishing and the worst part of self publishing. Well, the best part right now is the paycheck. <laughs> Let's be <Okay>. honest. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. The money's great. You know, worst less. part. Worst, worst part. part. Gosh. Um, um, the other thing that's kind of the, the not so great is, you know, because I'm still self-published and self-published is not out there, some people still look at it as vanity press. It's not as accepted quite yet. But that's hard to have to deal with all the time. It, it is. It's. I think it'll being change. so successful and doing so well with the book, and still mm -hmm. having people look at it like, eh, it really isn't that. You know, and the thing is, is you've got the other thing is, is when you're self-published, you're going to get a lot more scrutiny. Okay, I, my, I should have spent a little more time by getting a better editor or you know, editing mm -hmm. of Wife by Wednesday because there's threading. There's a few errors in it that. Mm -hmm. um, that good was editing. a good editing, I guess. I will good never, editing, I mean, folks. from here on, and, and I have, the books that I've re released since then are mm -hmm. fully edited, you know, mm -hmm. I'll accept a mistake if it's there, but I, mm -hmm. I, it's not because it didn't get looked at by many eyes. Mm -hmm. And that, so I've learned that. That's, that's a, probably mm -hmm. the best lesson I can say, is don't ever do anything without mm -hmm. getting it fully done, because as, as much as you might think you know, you can't yeah. see it all. We have a lot more to talk about. <laughs> you need to know about her personally, how wild and wacky she truly can be. And we've talked about that. I just have to get it written down. So if you'd like to know about, more about Kathy, about how she did it in self-publishing and all the other things that's coming up in her life, check out this month's magazine in detail.